And now when we have node installed, let's go back to our Firebase documentation and read what is the next step. And the next step is to install Firebase tools. So let's do that. I will copy this line and I'll go back to my terminal window and I'll simply run it. And by the way, do not forget to add dash G here so that Firebase tools are installed globally. Okay, Firebase tools have been installed and I can continue and initialize my Firebase project. And to do that, I'll go back to my documentation page and it says here to initialize your project, I'll need to follow these steps. So first of all, I will need to type Firebase login. So I'll copy this and I'll paste it into terminal, hit enter, and it says I'm already logged in. To log out, use Firebase logout command. And now we are logged out and I will repeat Firebase login to sign in. Allow Firebase to collect anonymous command line interface usage and error reporting. Uh, yes. And now it brings up a browser window and I will choose my Google account to sign in. Allow. And here we go. We are now signed in and we can close this window. And we also get a confirmation message here. Success. We are logged in. So let's go back to the documentation page and see what's our next step. The next step is to create a project directory and then run Firebase init functions in it. So I will copy the command Firebase init functions and I'll go back to my command line terminal. And I will go back one level, go back one level to my desktop. And on the desktop, I will create a new folder, mkdir, and I will call it music app cloud functions. Hit enter and I will cd into music app cloud functions. Hit enter and when inside of my project folder, I will run Firebase init functions. Firebase init function script is running and now it posts and it wants us to select a Firebase project that we want to work with. And to navigate through the list of projects, you can use arrows up and down. So I have a list of projects that I have created in my Firebase account and I'm going to work with music app project. So I will select this one and then hit enter. Now the next step is to provide the language that I want to use to write cloud functions. I'm going to use JavaScript. And if you feel more comfortable with TypeScript, you can use arrows up and down to select a different programming language. So I'll select JavaScript. Do I want to use ESLint to catch probable bugs and enforce style? I'll say yes. Do I want to install dependencies with npm now? Yes. And installation begins. And here we go. Firebase initialization is complete. Now I can use ls command to list down folders that have been created in my project. I have Firebase JSON and I have functions. I can preview Firebase JSON. I can go into functions folder list down folders there and everything looks good to me. We'll talk a little bit about the project structure and what these files are in our following video. But for now we have our Firebase Cloud Functions project created and initialized and we can continue.